in quality. I think the next one is 5 99 isn't it, from, yes, uh, from the co-op? And this is a red. That's right, so we've got uh, a couple of reds and a white now. Well done. Yeah, well spotted. That's uh, very good. <laughs> you want to see your learning, oh, it doesn't take long, does it? This, <laughs> so this is from the south of France. Um, it's a grape variety called Mourvedre, which is an uh, up-and-coming grape variety. Mm, that smells um, yummy. But it, it's a great variety that needs quite a lot of heat to really ripen fully, mm. and then you get some quite bold flavours. I flavors. really like that. Do you like that? Mm. Yeah. It tastes soft. That's, that's the only way I can right. taste if I like red okay. wine, is that I go, oh, it tastes quite soft. Maybe it's after the white, though, that it's tasting like that. Yeah, I mean, it's quite a bold wine, and as I say, you get that with the great variety. It'd be great with something like a, a kind of hearty casserole, that sort of thing, as autumn, autumn comes along. Mm. Um, and 5 99 at the co-op, not yeah. bad at all. It's quite kind of... Nice. Yeah, actually, that's it's got, got a little. lift no, on the nose as well. Yeah. I do enjoy getting the nose, the, of the nose of these wines. quite kind of perfumed, you know, not mm. just deep fruit. It's got kind of, I don't know, a sort of herbal element to it or something. It just... You smell that again. Think it about, think of a nice, nice. What's a nice perfume, Holly? Yeah. A bit of Chanel. Right, OK, well, there we go. Do you think? It's maybe not quite that, but what I'm saying is it's a lifted <laughs> smell, <laughs> not rather than a kind of stewy, fruity smell. I know what smell. you mean. Yep. I do know what you mean, actually. OK, so the next one is another white. Back to the whites. I'm mixing, mixing around a little bit. I should have said these...